two years since troops of the British Empire were forced by the Japanese to retreat from Burma. These pictures of action on that front may well be the advance guard of the return offensive. Fighting men of the great Indian regiments right up in the jungle front are probing into the positions held by the elusive and cunning Jap. Gurkha, Jat Sikh, Punjabi Muslim, backed with big guns, mortars, Brens and Tommy guns. Their objective is a wood on the high ground, overlooking countries still held by the enemy. Scarcely strange that the camera never sees the enemy soldier until he's dead. Even the advancing infantryman sees very little of him. It's a ghostly, remote, unreal kind of battle. Light mountain guns put down a barrage and the scouts move up to cover the concentration of the main body of troops. We've always heard that the Japanese soldier is a tough, fanatical fighter. Sometimes, two years ago, we felt that he was almost a superman, but he had then the advantage of surprise. He is finding in these hardy, well-trained and skillful Indian units that the Allies have some super fighters also. Guns are going up forward again. Shells from a mountain battery here are pounding a roadblock. It can't be removed by hand because of snipers and because of possible booby traps. Barrage covering them moves forward and left at the same time, going ahead in giant strides a hundred yards at a time. The infantry move on in separate ways, mopping up any enemy that have escaped the barrage. They're moving on now towards the village. There's been information that some Japanese are holding it. The company commander has decided to attack to find out what units are there. When he has identified the troops, he will withdraw. War in the jungle calls for all the courage, all the field craft and all the staying power a man can have. Not long hence, those qualities in our men will be matched against the Japanese on a big scale. <laughs> 